Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my flooring trade tips. Now I'm here in my son's nursery where I've recently done an entire makeover on his room. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you fit this engineered wood flooring as well as fitting a Scotia bead right the way around the skating boards to cover the expansion gap. Now the style I'm using is rustic oak engineered flooring from Tile Mountain. Now the wood and engineered floorboarding that I'm putting down on here needs to have an underlay. You can get different types of underlay for different circumstances, from soundproofing ones to insulated ones. We don't quite need all of that because our floor below here has already got the soundproofing aspect in that we need and of course the insulation value as well. So I'm just putting a standard roll down. It's one millimeter thick, it's the gold one and it's got a little bit of self-adhesive tape on the back so I'm rolling it out nice and flush up to the edge of the skating board. I'm going to start by laying the first three planks together and clicking the edges into place. Then I'm going to put some spaces, the packers, along both edges of the corner and all the way down the back of one wall. Now I'm going to measure for my first cut and deduct 10 millimetres for an expansion gap along that skating board. So 434, little mark there. Double check my glasses on. Square that off with a set square. And now I'm going to cut this down. There's a number of ways you can cut this. Uh, of course, you can cut it with a handsaw. If you've got a handsaw, a chop saw also will be great for chopping through on there, or even just a small cordless circular saw like this is quick and easy. Now the off cut of that first plank that I cut for that end, that's the rough cut edge, that now it's turned around and it becomes my very first plank of my second row. I've got the 10 millimeter expansion gap on that one end there, the cut edge will get covered with the bead and it clicks into position and that staggers my joints for me. And you can give them a little tap with your block if you need to. Then you can start to continue putting all the planks in, making sure that you're staggering the joints. Each plank is 130 millimetres in length and they're 14 millimetres thick. What I love about it is the natural knots, the grains and the tones that you can see in the timber. Now this is the first time I've actually fitted this in our house and I've got to be honest, I love it. It's so easy to put together, this new click system. It's got a groove in one end of it along here and then it's got this nib along there and it just interlocks in really quick and simple push it into place, push it up against that far one there, one quick bang with a rubber mallet on one end to there, and then you fix and block, just give it a little tap in there and it automatically just locks in and drops down into the position exactly where you need it. When you get to the second to last plank, you might not be able to use your tapping block, so you're gonna to need to use a pulling bar. Now when you come to your last piece against the skating board and you maybe you're going underneath a doorway, you're going to have to mark up and cut around the actual door frame itself if the flooring is going to set through the door just a little bit, which ours is. So I've marked it up and I'm just using a jigsaw to cut it out. So that's my last plank now cut and fitted into place, pulled into position with the pulling bar. The next stage is to fit the bead all the way around the outside to cover the expansion gap. Fitting the Scotia bead is quick and easy. First of all, you need to remove all of your packs from around here. 
then you're going to have to cut your Scotia bead down at 45 degree angles so it meets in the corner. But we've got two lengths here. These normally come about eight foot in length and you want them to meet nice and tight in the corner there. So I'm going to cut them at 45 by using a hacksaw blade and this little mitre and block. That fits into that corner. And then you get your opposite one. Cut that down at 45. Perfect. Just like that. Now, before I fix this into position, what I am going to do is get a roll of masking tape and put it all the way along the edge of my skating board along there. The reason being is both the skating board and the bead will need a second coat of paint. Now I'm going to take a pen and just do a very faint line above the top of the bead whilst it's loose. Then apply some adhesive just below the line. This will hold the bead into position so you won't have to tack or nail it down. Now the reason we apply the glue to the skating board and not the floor is so the bead sticks to the skating board and that allows the floor to move if it does happen to expand at any point. Then where the beads meet, you can cut them on a fraction of an angle to create a scarf joint. Once the glue on the bead is dry, you can apply your last coat of paint. Hopefully I've inspired you to install your own engineered wood flooring. Do keep in touch on all social media handles and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button on our YouTube channel. If you want to know more about the flooring I've installed, check out the website talmountain.co.uk.